Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are diving into something I recently struggled with, and that is scraping LinkedIn post. I tried everything from LinkedIn API to the LinkedIn's make module, but nothing worked. So I turned to a tool called Bardeen AI, and let me tell you, it saved the day. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set it up step-by-step step so you can do it too. And without further ado, let's get into it. So as always, we are going to begin with some context. But if you only care about the Bardeen setup, you can skip to the next chapter. So what I wanted to show you was some of the things that I tried before I got to a point where I realized that I will have to use a scraper, right? So the first thing was to go to your LinkedIn settings and try to uh, download the data, right? You know, every Most of these tools have an option to export your data, right? It's your data, you should be able to export it. So LinkedIn has that as well. So I went here and under your LinkedIn profile, if you get to the data privacy section, uh, you get to this page. It's called export your data, right? And here I thought all I would have to do is, you know, select the post option and then click on download archive. Uh, but there was no post option. The only option they provided is uh, articles as far as the content is concerned. So I thought maybe articles is it. So I clicked on it, clicked on download archive. I got a link 10 minutes later but it only gave me my actual LinkedIn blog post, or that's why it's called articles, I guess. So it didn't include the post, and that's what I really want. Okay, so no go there. So then I thought, okay, maybe there's this other option, download the larger data archive, and I thought that will contain everything. And maybe it does, I don't know, because I have requested the download yesterday, and it's been 24 hours, and I haven't received a notification. So it's too long of a wait. And what if I want to download other people's posts or other users' posts, like this is not gonna cut it anyway. So, so long story short, this export your data option doesn't include downloading LinkedIn posts. So that's a no-go. Okay, so what else did I try? So the next thing was to try maybe the LinkedIn make module and maybe I assumed they might have an option to get posts, at least my own posts, right? So let's go over to make. And this is the, you know, the LinkedIn module in make. It's a verified module. So that means, you know, it's, it's official. And, even it, and if you look even here, under the users, all the options are listed here and all you get is create a post, create an image post, even create a video post, and then straight away delete post. So there's no way again to list the post or get the post, right? So it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Under the organizations, if you see, so these are the company pages, I assume, there are many more options compared to a user, but again, I don't see a straight, straightforward way to get the post. You can get all the stats, you can get, you can again delete, but yeah, there's no way to get them, right? So I thought, okay, maybe that is only reserved for custom apps. Okay, so let's build a custom app. So I went to the third option, which is the LinkedIn API. And for that, you have to start with a, in the developer portal, and you have to sort of start an application. So you create an app with LinkedIn. You show the intent that you're looking to build an app that will be using LinkedIn data. So you register the app, you have to attach it to a company profile, get it authorized and everything. And so uh, long story short, I created this and you can see it's a standalone app. Um, but if you look here under the scope, so this what this means is what the API can do, right? Again, here, you can get the user's name and photo, you can get the user's profile. And under the social, again, all you can do is create a post, modify a post, delete a post, comment and even react, but no option again to get the post. So I don't understand why this is not an option. Uh, again, LinkedIn is trying to protect its data or maybe some copyright issues, I'm not sure. If I understand correctly, there used to be another option here. So the W here means right. And I think there used to be an R option. So R underscore member underscore social for read. And I think that has been taken away or reserved only for very specific applications and you have to get approved. Because even if you look here in the products that you can uh, attach to your API, there's no such thing to get the post. It's all different types of either marketing or advertising or events and stuff like that. But again, nothing to get the post. So I'm not sure what the reason is and maybe I'm missing something. I would love to know if you have a different way of getting the post through the API. But once I reached this point, once I exhausted all three of these options, the archive, the make module, and the API, I was frustrated and I really just wanted to download my own post. And the reason I wanted all my posts is because I never actually maintained a list of everything that I've created. I have always posted from different tools, different places. It's been a little chaotic. So I wanted to organize everything specifically because I wanted to train OpenAI to understand how I write so that I can use it to create new posts, right? But nothing worked. So 
I realized a while back I've used this tool called Bardini. I, I stopped using it because I didn't have a use case uh, in particular, but I remembered that it's really good at scraping. So I thought, okay, why not uh, try that and see if that works? And it did. So that is exactly what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so that's some context. Thanks for bearing with me. Let's uh, close this tab and move over to my LinkedIn profile, right? So this is my LinkedIn profile. So the way Bardeen works is it's actually a Chrome extension. So as you can see, it's installed over here. If I click on this, it's going to pull up the pop-up, which is specific to this extension. It's pretty uh, straightforward to install. You create an account in the typical uh, Chrome extension setup. So that's, that's pretty good because you don't have to download anything on your uh, computer, right? And then to actually scrape the LinkedIn post. Now, you can use this to scrape many things, right? You can scrape this to, you can use this to scrape your profile if you just want to get information on like a single page, you know, like the tagline, the photo, maybe an email address and stuff like that. You can do that as well. But in our case, what we are going to do is we are going to scrape a list, right? So in our case, the list is of uh, all my LinkedIn posts. And uh, to do that, first you need to get to the web page where the list exists, right? So if you scroll down on the profile, uh, you get to the activity section, and under, under the activity section, there's a link called show all posts. And this is exactly what we need for Bardeen to work. So if I click on this, uh, it takes you to this page called recent activity, and you will see it's all of my activity, right? And it's filtered by posts, and that's perfect because we see everything over here. And one thing uh, before I pull up Bardeen and show you uh, how to set it up is notice that the scroll on the LinkedIn post never ends. It's an infinite scroll. So there's no like pagination. And that is going to be an important detail that we will need once we set it up. Okay, perfect. So now that we are on the page that we need to scrape, we can pull up the Bardeen Chrome extension. So I click on this. And here again, you know, it's, uh, it's an automation tool, so it can do a lot of different things. And I think the similar to how Make calls it scenarios, uh, Bardeen calls it playbooks. And here you see two options. You can either do stuff just with AI, right? Like uh, you want to write an email, typical AI stuff, you can do that here. Or the second option is the scraper option, and that's what we are going to use. So let's go ahead and click on this. And currently I don't have any scraper because I created a new account for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a new scraper template and it's going to ask you which website do you want to scrape. So here it also shows you all the websites that are currently open in your browser. So I'm just going to click on the LinkedIn activity tab and it noticed that it's LinkedIn. So it asked me, do you want to use an existing model or you want to build it yourself? So we'll click on, we'll build myself. And then notice here how it asked me what kind of scraper you want to build, whether it's a single page scraper or a list scraper. And we, we talked about it briefly a few minutes ago. So single page would be used when you're scraping the profile information, which is just one page, you get some information and you're done. A list would be when you have a, a, you know, a long list of items, like it could be e-commerce products, it could be a table of users, it could be anything. In our case, it's the LinkedIn post. So let's go ahead and click on this. And so the next thing is to name your scraper. So we'll just call it scrape. LinkedIn posts, save. And then what it does is it kind of minimizes itself and it says, help us locate the list, right? So it says, please pick any element from the list. So we are going to like kind of scroll here and if you keep hovering, it will, you know, select different elements. And what I like to do is I like to kind of zoom out to a point where the entire list element, so the entire post block is kind of highlighted. So click on that. And then it will say, choose a, an, any other element of the same kind. So basically it's looking for another post. So it can really determine how the list is structured. So we scroll down a little bit and then we go to the next post. And we, again, we kind of hover, hover, hover and get to the point where the entire post block is highlighted and then click on this. So, so it has now identified how the list is structured. And the next thing it asks is select the pagination type. So remember, I mentioned that uh, this is going to be a critical piece of information, whether it's a paginated list or an infinite scroll list. So it's an infinite scroll list, so we're going to click on that. Perfect. So the list is now identified. The next thing we need to do now is to actually select, and you can see here, you can now select the elements to scrape information from. So now that it knows where the list is, you need to tell it, exactly what do you need from each list element. So definitely we need the actual post content 
And in addition, what we can also do is we can get how many likes it has, how many impressions, and how many comments, right? So let's go one at a time. First, I'm going to select the uh, post content. And you can see here that it has identified that this is the actual content. So this looks good. And we can click on check. And in the more options, we don't need to do anything here. And we can click on get data. So here, it opens up this table at the bottom. And you can see it has already scraped a few of my, my posts. So let's give it a column title. So I'm going to say post text. This is the actual content, you know, or we can also give it content. Okay, very good. Then let's scroll here and let's get the, the number of likes as well. So again, click on check and it is going to create a new column and we will say likes. And let's do the comments and click this checkbox, get data, and then say comments or a number of comments. And finally, we can get the impressions if you want. So, so you want to make sure that you kind of highlight the actual content, not the entire block, because then it will try to get the entire thing and it's going to be confusing when you read your data. So we just select the smallest block we can highlight and get data. And then here we can give it a name, impressions. And that's it. Now all you have to do is click on Save Template. And so here it works just like a make scenario. So the first step is now going to be scrape data on the active tab, which is you know our LinkedIn tab. And then you can click on plus and then you can do all sorts of things with it because the data is going to come in a table. You can send it to Google Sheets, you can send it to Airtable, you can run AI on it. All those things are fair game. I won't get into that for this particular video. So all I want to do is I want to now save this. And how do you want to run this automation? Now, you know, you can run this on a daily basis or on a schedule or any other, you can use any other trigger just like we use in Make. But for now, I'm just going to click on manually and let's see, save only. Okay, there we go. Very good. And save only. And my template is now being created and saved. So now in my playbooks, we have, you know, scraping LinkedIn.com. Very good. And if I click here on the scraper, it will also have this as a template called scrape LinkedIn post. Very good. So let's come out of this and let's refresh this page. So let's pull up Bardeen again. And now you will notice that it's available in my playbooks. So one thing I wanted to modify or add to the builder is, let me show you. So if you go here, if you click on the step, there's some customizations that you can do. And one of them is how many list items to extract, right? So because it's an infinite scroll, it can keep going forever. But if you don't want all of them, because you know maybe LinkedIn detects it, or for you only need like the first five posts or whatever, you can tell it how many you want to extract by putting a number here, or you can ask it to ask you every time. So I'm gonna say, ask me every time. And, and once you add that, we just save it again. Very good. So now when we run the scraper, it'll ask me how many list items you want to scrape. Awesome. So all you have to do now is click on this playbook, which is, as you can see, scrapinglinkedin.com. And once we click on it, it's going to ask me, as we asked it to, for how many list items it should be extracting. So I'm going to enter a number, 10, select it, and then click on next. And now it's scraping. And there we go, it's already done. It uh, only took a couple of seconds. And what we can do from here, since we did not add any other step to our playbook, is that we can download it as a CSV. And so I'm just going to go in my downloads and create a new folder, Bardeen, create, and I will call it LinkedIn Posts Export or Scrape. Very good, save, and now it's available as a CSV. So let me open Google Sheets so we can actually import it and take a look at what we got. So import, upload, browse, go to downloads, LinkedIn Post, Okay, import data. This we could have asked Bardeen to do automatically, but for now it's it's good. So let's do that. And there we go. We don't need that and expand this. And if we look at the actual data, you will see that all of the content is there. So it's not just like the first line that was visible. It was able to get the entire HTML block, which is my entire content. So there you have it. This way you can download all of your posts or you can download posts from other people's profile. Just a word of caution here that scraping LinkedIn is in the gray area. So be careful. You don't want your account to get banned. 
But in this case, this is my own post and I just want to download them for you know organization purposes and to be able to train an AI. I think it's fair game, but yeah, I won't be doing it you know every day on and on. So so that's it. So check out Bardeen on bardeen.ai, download the Chrome extension and then follow the steps that I showed you. And, and that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you.